Hey, North Point, I want us to think about living out this gospel. We've been talking about for the last number of weeks from the book of Romans, this glorious message. But we've also come to the point to think about this is going to have an impact in our lives. And we're going to talk about that this Sunday in Romans 13, 8 through 14. But for now, I want to take one part of one verse. Owe nothing to anyone except to love one another. That's Romans 13, 8. That's what we owe people, love. So, this past Monday, the mayor came out with a directive about face masks. I'll bet you've got an opinion about that. I'll bet you've got a strong opinion about that. And my guess is when you encounter someone of a different opinion, and maybe with a different opinion that they hold strongly, whoa, man, that raises your blood pressure. And, and, and man, you feel a need maybe to, to educate them. Now, you, you first, we first have the responsibility to love them. Practically speaking, that means we're making sure we're kind rather than right. Now, I'm not asking you to give up your opinion, but I'm saying in expressing it, before you show how right you are, I want you to show how kind you are. Because see, if you go read Romans 13, 8, there's no pass. There's no exemption in that verse Except when there's a pandemic and there's a directive from the mayor about face masks that you don't like. No, the call, because we've taken in the gospel and we've been loved by this one who we offended and sinned and, and we've been reconciled and we have peace with God. The expectation is, as this gets into our soul, as it gets into our heart, it's going to change the way we love and it's going to be supernatural. So this week, you're going to be out and about in the community with people who are not living out what you think they ought to be doing with the face mask. Would your first commitment by the grace and power of God be to love them? Here's my prayer. I'm hoping individually and collectively, now more than ever, North Point shows himself as Christ in our community.